Hi, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software, bringing you a quick tip on Dynamics 365 Business Central. Today we're going to look at something called non-inventory items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my item list, and I already have one set up so that it's easy to look at, and it's called the Raw Material Non-Inventory. So if I drill into that, you'll notice this type field. It is set to non-inventory. You have other options such as inventory, which is a traditional item, and then service, which is very rarely used, but very similar to non-inventory. The non-inventory setting is very unique in the system in that you still have a cost for the item, you can still have a price for the item, but you'll notice there's no planning tab available and there's no inventory tab available. If you go back to the item list, you'll notice that the quantity on hand is a little dash. It's not zero, it's a dash, meaning it doesn't exist ever. With this non-inventory item, it is actually impossible to know what the quantity on hand is. These non-inventory items are used as expensed items. Think of it as shop towels or something very, very inexpensive, screws, nuts, bolts, something like that that is a very low cost, high turn item that you just expense out. You still use it every other way that you normally would. So because it has a cost, because it has a price, I can buy and sell it, I can consume it on production, on projects, on service, on assembly. Anywhere that I would normally use an item, I can use this non-inventory item. Because there's zero quantity on hand, there is also zero inventory value. So this item will never show on an inventory valuation report because technically you don't own any. Well, as soon as you buy it, you're expensing it. It's just kind of costed out. I do want to show you that on a production order, you can use this. So if I go to a released production order and we'll drill into this one, I have it listed in my bill of material. So the non-inventory item is there, five pieces times I was making 10, so there was 50, and we've picked and consumed all 50, so there are zero remaining, and it will show in the ledger entries. So if I go to the production order item ledger entry, so treating it like an item, you'll notice that the RM6000, that is my non-inventory item, is on there, and a quantity is consumed. Now keep in mind you're consuming from zero to zero. So it's not like I had a big impact on my inventory or anything like that. In fact, there was zero impact on my inventory. But it is still applying the $10 in this case cost times the 50 units. So a $500 cost is applied to this production order. Even though they're expensed, I still want to account for that expense on the production order. Same holds true for using them on projects, service, assembly, anywhere else in the system. The last thing I want to point out on this, if I go back to my item list and I pick a different item that is not a non-inventory item, so this is a type inventory, which means it has quantity on hand. You can see it has an inventory tab with a quantity on hand. This item could still be removed from my inventory valuation report. So there is a field here called inventory value zero. This makes it not appear on the inventory valuation report. So if there are items, you expense them, but you need to know quantity on hand, this might be a better option for you. You should work with your partner on it to make sure that it is doing what you expect it to do and that you can process the items and financial impact the way you need. So with that, that's the tip. I wanted to make you aware of that capability within Business Central. If you have questions on this or anything else within Business Central, please reach out to our Accent Software support team. We'd be happy to work with you. Our specialty is manufacturing, so if you're in that industry, even better.